Hello, hello. It's January 3rd, 2021. Uh, I just wanted to do a little design video. Today we're going to be talking about the um, offset tool, or they call it the offsetter in easel. Um, if you're not sure what it is or how it works, um, follow along. Be extremely helpful in projects that you may do. You're trying to um, outline things or remove pieces of artwork, but it works real well. So let's get started. So, what is the offsetter tool? So, the offsetter tool, I use it a lot when I do flag designs. Um, if I want to get a outline of an object, it helps me delete things uh, from the from the flags, makes it a lot cleaner. But we're, today we're just going to talk about basic shapes. So, if for instance I wanted to take a square, all right, doesn't matter the size, we're just going to grab a square, and I'm going to change it to cut on shape path. All right, so there's a square. Don't mind the thickness. All right just because I have uh, it set on a v-bit and the depth I think was like a quarter inch but doesn't matter so we got a square now we're gonna grab a circle all right we're gonna throw that like right here do the same thing cut on shape path like that now we're going to grab a triangle, we're just going to go, might as well just go in line, so we'll grab a triangle, let's throw the triangle right there, we'll do that on shape path, make it a little bigger, and then we'll follow up with a star, and we'll throw the star like right here, like right around there. All right, so all of them are on cut on shape path. Let's do control A real quick. Just going to change them all to the same depth. All right, so got a bunch of shapes. But if I was to cut these right now, if you look real close, it looks like crap. All right, so this is how we fix it. So I'm going to hit control A or you can drag your mouse across and then we're going to go to this little Lego for apps we're going to go down to this offsetter tool now if you notice what happens here we got a bunch of things a bunch of lines looks like it's tracing alright so this distance is the distance how far away you want the line to be right so if you want it to be real close, you could do 0 0.01, give it a second, and now it looks like it's traced, right? I'm going to leave it on, I think it was a quarter inch when it started. So we're going to do a quarter inch. All right, variations, or I'm sorry, iterations. That's how many of those you want to show up. It looks like a magic eye poster. I'm just going to leave that at 1. Inward would be if you wanted to go in. And uncheck would be on the outer edge. Alright, keep original. If I uncheck that right now, notice what happens, right? All my shapes disappear. Now if you notice, if I bring my distance in a little bit more, See how my star gets more pointy versus when it was at quarter inch, I think it was. See how it's more rounded. All right, so I'm going to change that to uh, 0.08. We'll go with. And we'll go lower. 0.01. And we're going to uncheck keep the original. Now, if I hit import. Now what we have is a shape. Let me make this a little bigger here. And 
bring that down to like an eighth inch. Now what you have is all of your shapes now become one shape. So we're going to take a look at the sample here so we can see what, what we've done. So what we have done is here's our original file and here's our file done with the offsetter tool. Real simple. Comes in handy once you start playing around with it and you really get the hang of it. It comes in handy for a lot of your designs. For instance, um, we'll take a flag for instance, right? So if I was going to do, uh, let me just grab something here. Let's say I was going to do this army logo, right? Um, let me just copy this real quick. And if I was going to put that on this flag, right? Get rid of the white mark because that's actually from the old set of tool. So if I wanted to put this right on this flag, right, right here, if I wanted to put that there and cut it, it's going to look really weird, right? So we'll look at a, a detailed preview of this, and you'll see how it's all messed up. Well, let me put it on a V-bit so we get a little bit more detail on it. But if you were to just drop that right on your stripes, what you're going to get is this, right? Not, not really the way you'd want to see it, right? So what you do is if this is selected and we go to that apps tool and go to offsetter, It'll populate the data, so we'll get our army logo will pop up. Um, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to leave it at a quarter inch, and I'm going to uncheck the original, let it load. We should see some stuff change here. Now I'm going to hit import. What I usually do is I'll drag that over to the side, right? and I'll highlight this whole thing then I'll hold shift and hit this outer ring so now that's unchecked and I'll hit delete and then what I always end up doing is I'll click this outer ring here and I want to see where that's positioned right so the X is at 14886 so I'm going to copy that and the Y is at 5632 so we're going to change this to 5.632, click out of it, and then I believe it was 14.886, boom. So now that's out here, right? And you're probably asking, well, why would you do that? So I'll show you. So while that outer ring that we just used the offsetter tool is selected, when we go to cut, I'm going to change it to clear out pocket. So now it fills the whole thing, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell that to carve to zero inches. So now it's all white, right? So again, it's still selected. I'll right click it and send it to the back. So what it did is it put it behind this logo and it put it behind the stripes. But I want the logo to be in the front. So it still looks kind of silly, right? But if I highlight just my stripes and right click them and send those to the back and then click out, you notice what just happened, right? Now we have stripes are all the way in the back. That offsetter um, copy that we did is just in front of the stripes and the logo is on top of that. So if this was to carve, it'll carve these stripes. It doesn't know anything's here, so it'll it'll skip it. It'll carve this. It'll carve everything in black. So now if we looked at a rendered version of that, you remember what it looked like before. We'll get a detail of that one. Let 
Now there's a lot more, a lot more uh, art in there that it's got to generate. But now what you notice is it's very clean, right? All right, we can we can really inspect our file. It's always important to inspect it. Okay. Now these stars, because they're not going into a V depth, um, they're kind of small. But if they were bigger stars, they would take a while to carve. Not really long, but um, if you make your depth on a star uh, a little bit deeper, they'll uh, they'll carve a little faster, especially with a V bit. Now, if you notice this edge right here, right? See that? I don't like that. Something's going on there. So let's zoom. Let's zoom in on that that stripe. Let's see if we can find something going on. Ah, oh, look at that. See that? The art never lies. So we double click it. We can delete this one. That node. And that should have straightened it out. So let's see if that fixed that. I'll let that generate its preview. And there's that same stripe. And it's cleaned up now. So it's always important to do that, right? And I know I kind of went off topic, and that's all right. But um, the offsetter tool, I use it a lot. I can tell you when I started using Easel, I didn't even know what the offsetter tool was. So I figured it'd be beneficial to everybody to just shoot a quick little video um, on how it works. Uh, if you notice here, this little apple, um, that's part of the pro design library. I personally don't like it. And there's a lot of designs in there. Um, I can find images on Google just as fast. Um, I've yet to use anything in here. But, you know, if you're a pro user, these things are in there. There is a ton of stuff, right? So. I mean, some of these designs, like this leaf, I could see myself using this one. Emojis. There's all kinds of stuff in here, right? Patterns. Well, I could see myself using some patterns. But I have yet to use anything in here yet. But, um, offsetter tool, I love it. I use it all the time. Um, yeah, hopefully you got something out of this video. Uh, if you'd like to see me shoot a video on something else, please let me know. Um, if it's something I don't know, I'd love to learn it myself and then share with you guys. But as always, thanks for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Don't forget to like my videos. And remember, um, if you've been watching my channel, I have the Onefinity CNC coming, um, hopefully first week of February. So I'm in the process of building a new shop table setup, which I'll uh, shoot a little video of. And then um, I'll give you all the heads up ahead of time. I want to uh, unbox that Onefinity live on my channel, put it together. So be ready, order a pizza, hang out with me. Uh, again, that's probably going to be like first week of February, hopefully. As soon as I get shipping tracking info, I will let you guys know. All right, so again, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and Happy New Year.